here we should have my screen. I'm gonna adjust it a little bit. There we go. So for example, for those of you that are like to write PowerShell scripts or use PowerShell script a bunch, you might have seen that uh, the PowerShell org started to post uh, videos from their latest conference. So if you are interested in a deep dive on, on PowerShell, there is a lot of content being added in this channel, uh, basically as we speak, because the last update was like a few hours ago here. So highly, highly recommend that. Um, then we are finally back to do in-person events for our Chicago user group. We call it the far Midwest user group because that's technically where we are on the map. But long story short, on June 6th, we will be at the Microsoft office down in Downers Grove, which is just a, well, quite a stone throw from Chicago city, but still in at the suburb uh, to Chicago here. So uh, if you live in the area and want to learn a little bit more about uh, the cloud journey, uh, migrating from AD to uh, Entra and a little bit of uh, an endpoint privilege management deep dive as well as security and Intune deep dive for Microsoft. Uh, please join us. It's uh, spending an afternoon in the Microsoft office. So hope to see you there for those that live uh, around here. Then we have our friends up uh, more than a stone throw uh, from here and that is uh, up in Seattle, uh, they are having a user group meeting on Friday. Uh, I believe it is. Yeah, Friday. So May 17th, uh, if you are in that uh, area, uh, uh, please join that one. Um, I attended myself back in March. It's a great venue, great conference as well. So or great user group as well. So. Let's go to that one. And finally, we have our friends in Arizona. They are also having a user group meeting on, on Friday. So it's uh, Mike Terrell and others uh, managing this user group. So uh, by all means, go ahead and attend that one. Also, a little bit of uh, uh, tips and tricks from the MMS conference together with some regular sessions as well. Then I stumbled across and, um, and it was actually uh, Andrew who sent that link to me to me in an email. So Andrew is with us in spirit here, even though I couldn't join uh, uh, in person, so to speak, or during the call. It's this one here. A nice little uh, review of the Intune cookbook that Andrew Taylor put together. So, uh, always a good read. Then uh, I could not but laugh because uh, Gary Block, he posted a picture from a device that had a uh, Few partitions too many, put it that way. I've never seen anything alike, but apparently uh, this was a device, came from an OEM, and it had uh, a few partitions in it. Uh, in general, more than four is uh, overkill, but this must be, I don't know, 20 some partitions in this one, but I thought it was funny. Um, and speaking of funny, this week the Academy is uh, uh, have a distinguished guest, and that is Richard Hicks doing his uh, certificates class. And I was editing the videos last night uh, from the recordings, and I stumbled across this slide here, and uh, I think that is like the best uh, explanation ever to use certificates. They may not be too fun to work with, and they can be challenging to work with, but uh, indeed, I totally agree with Richard there.
So good stuff. And finally, uh, here is a friend from our Finnish MVP, Pano. Uh, a friendly reminder that um, from discussion he had at the MMS conference that if you have an Intu license, you typically do have a config manager license. So don't forget that because there could be use cases where you want to have a config manager machine around, even if you're all in Intune as an organization. Uh, we had a discussion on Twitter earlier this week. Okay, how do you guys deal with really large applications if you want to deploy them quickly? Yeah, that could very well be a scenario to keep Config Manager around because that is one of Config Manager's forties to be able to do that very quickly. Sure enough, Intune can deploy large applications too, but I wouldn't say they are very quick to do it that way. Uh, they can be sped up by having a local cache server. And as of right now, Config Manager cache servers are the only ones that are released, uh, at least for <coughs> normal companies, not ISPs, that can cache content also for Intune applications. And of course, uh, if you're using other features like software metering and whatnot, uh, you can still use Config Manager for that. So that was all that I had in the news.